In the last segment, we talked about intervals, unisons or primes, steps or, s or seconds, and skips or thirds. Now I want to show you how you can put them in your hand in a logical way. Remembering we're just dealing with the white notes right now. Intervals get more complicated in terms of quality of interval, but we're going to cover that in a later segment. So let's start out with that unison. How do we put that in our hand? It goes from one note to the very next, or to the very same note, line to line or space to space. So in this case, we're going to play that. We can finger that a couple of different ways. You can just use the same finger, two, two, or three, three, or one, one, etc. Often in more advanced music, as we start to go a little bit faster, we may need to use a fingering that facilitates our speed. So we might use this finger, something like this. Three, two, or four, three, or two, one. So keep that in mind with unisons, with seconds. Okay, so here's our second. We can finger that a variety of ways. So if we started with one, which is our thumb, the logical fingering to go up a second, very next note on the keyboard, very next note on the staff, two would be logical. So one and then two. Okay, what if we start on two? Two, and what's logical if we're going up? Yeah, three. How about if we start with three? Four. If we start with four, to five. The same will hold true in the left hand, and the same will hold true when we come down. So we have several combinations to play seconds. One, two, two, three, three, four, and four, five. Let's look at thirds. Oh, let's make it a little bit different here. Let's take it from there to there. Okay, a space note to another space note. So let's say that we start with one. One. What's the logical fingering that we might use? Well, we're skipping a note, so let's skip a finger as well and go from one, two, three. What happens if we start with two? Well, we're skipping that finger now and we're going up to, you got it, four. And how about if we start with three? Yeah, we're skipping our fourth finger and going up to five. Again, the left hand will be the same process, and if you come down, just use that same logic if the interval is a descending interval versus, that looks like that, versus an ascending interval. Okay, knowing logical fingering is going to help you a lot when you attempt to read. So that's why I'm introducing this and I'd like you to practice your unisons or primes, your seconds and your thirds with different fingering combinations. You can even just practice those combinations on a desktop. So you don't even need to use the keyboard. You can just use them on a table. And let me move this for a second. You can just do one two, these are seconds, two, three, three, four, four, five. You can do them at the same time. Say you want to do thirds, one, three, two, four, three, five, just to get used to the shape in your hands.